Guys, we're here in uh, Moscow, just got to the airport, and this is where we're headed to. First time in a metro station in Moscow. Now, I'm about to get on the train, so I'm not gonna be able to talk that much, but let me make this quick. The situation is, my bank cards don't work here. I don't have any internet, and <laughs> that's pretty much it. So basically, my plan is to take this train to the city center, then try to exchange some currency from there. It's a risk because it's around 9.30, and if there aren't any, if there aren't any exchange places open, then I'm pretty much screwed. Because once I get to the city center, it's like an hour and a half walk to uh, to my apartment. So that will suck. Here goes what the train looks like. Uh, no one's inside. I talked to the guy and asked him, hey, can I sit here? And he just pointed inside. So, uh, so I'm inside. Uh, my plan was to, well, I had two options. Uh, okay, let me gather myself not many people so i'm gonna talk right now um the reason why i was able to get this train ticket remember my bank cards don't work so i was able to get a train ticket because the airline i flew on offered them so i prepaid for them when i was back in the states however when i get to the metro in the city i'm not gonna have any cash you can't use dollars you have to use the local currency rubles so i had two options exchange a little bit here at the airport at a horrible rate that way i can catch the metro to my uh, apartment or take the chance don't exchange and wait till i got wait till i get to the city center and hopefully i'll get it at the better rate so uh, that's the plan all right guys Getting out the metro. Well, not the metro, but the train. The ride wasn't that bad. I think it's because I flew into an airport that's a little bit closer to the city center. They have multiple airports here. Because uh, Moscow said to be, let me get on the right side. Moscow said to be the largest European city. So obviously there's going to be a ton of airports. I believe, I know for sure four of them, maybe more. But here we go. Gonna get our first look into Moscow once we exit. This is where things are gonna get a, a little frisky because remember I didn't exchange any any uh, money. Right behind me was the entrance to the metro, but I can't pay with dollars, so I have to find a a place to exchange my dollars. While I was on the airport, I mean while I was in the train, I will admit that uh, I kind of was re regretting not not exchanging any currency because i i could have been on the metro right now i also could have probably had a, a sim card but it is what it is if i can't find anything nearby then i'll have to walk about one hour 45 minutes to the to the apartment so ah uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm willing to do that i'm willing to do that i i'll face the consequences Yeah, I heard uh, the metro stations here are beautiful. Got some uh, military members walking, so I had to pan up. But yeah, this is beautiful. I love public transportation, so uh, it's gonna be lovely. And I was told where to go to exchange. He said, go this way. He said, go out this way, then take a left. So that's the plan. Okay guys, we're about to enter the streets of Moscow. Bam! Here we go, look at this. And look to the left. Oh man, look at this. We're enjoying this together. Okay guys, things worked out. Things worked out. So uh, I was walking a little bit. Uh, the first, the, hold on, let me gather my thoughts. The first uh, exchange place was closed. Then I walked inside of a metro. 
and there was a line at another exchange place so i said okay they're open the guy who was in front of me shout out to him if you ever watch this video he helped me out because it just so happens that the ex lady at the exchange place she was closing up so he spoke to her to see if she can still let me let me uh if she could still exchange for me which she did and so shout out shout out to that so it worked out we got the currency i was at the metro station but i do want to walk a little bit so i can talk because there's some thoughts i want to share and it look like you can also rent scooters right they look like they're about to rent a scooter yeah the vibe i'm loving it let me uh we're gonna just walk across this bridge and i'll catch the metro there but let me talk about when I got to the airport. So when I was going through passport control, I will say I was uh, just a tad bit nervous because when I got there, the staff member was asking me or immigration was asking me a few questions and then they said to go wait on the side while they do a document check. It wasn't that long, it was about 15 minutes. And then uh, the guy came out with my passport, said everything's okay and, and they let me through. No, I was thinking, oh man, they might take me to the back, flash a light on me, start asking me a whole bunch of questions. And then when I was, before I came here, I had a layover and uh, I went to the bathroom and when I looked at myself in the mirror, I realized, oh man, I just shaved, so I have a bald head. I'm a little muscular. Also, I have a olive green backpack, so it kind of comes across as if I'm I'm active military. I was like, oh man, now, and I look military zoo? God damn. But it, it worked out, we're here. We're here. I don't know what this this place is called, but beautiful. And then look in the back. I think this is the like the financial district straight up that way. But we're walking more towards the historic center. Walking more towards the historic center. So next stop, catch the metro. Um, I don't think I can get a SIM card right now, which is okay. I've I have uh, maps offline. I downloaded a map of Moscow offline. So uh, I know how to get back to, I know how to get to the apartment where I'm staying. So that's the plan. Walk up to the next Metro and then catch the Metro to the room. If I have enough time, if there's a grocery store nearby, I'll go buy some, some snacks, some water, some drinks. A little bit of Moscow at night. I don't know if you can see the, the boat right there. Look like they have night cruises. Beautiful bridge on the other side. That's lit up. The weather feels amazing right now. It's maybe in the 50s. But it feels good. No wind chill. Yeah, it feels, feels amazing. Still moving, got some help from one of the locals. I think one of the problems I'm having is with my maps. So I downloaded a few maps offline, so I'm able to navigate the city without internet. I think the problem, and I had this in Lebanon, I don't know what it's called, but for example, when I was in Lebanon, I was trying to call an Uber, but it kept saying my location was at the airport. And I think that's because Lebanon was in a conflict. Well, it's still in a conflict. I think I think that's why and I think that's the same with this country do because of the oh, I think the metro right here okay because of the conflict uh, the GPS keeps changing my location like every 10 minutes I'm in a different area so it says go straight take a right then 10 minutes later oh no turn around take a left and then do a u-turn so I think this is the metro right here I see the M so give me one second okay guys I'm getting help but look at the uh, stations here yeah. yeah, I'm getting some help from a couple nearby. They paid for me and they're helping me get to my destination. But check the beauty out. Look at this. Like I said, I heard the metro stations in uh, Moscow were, were beautiful and I, I see why.
just getting out of the metro. And shout out to the couple that uh, helped me out. Look at this, look at this beauty. Shout out to the couple that helped me out. Uh, let's hold on, let me gather my thoughts with a lot of people. Well, if I'm stuttering and stuff, it's, there's a lot going on, but well, let me wait till I get outside, one second. So basically what happened was I had asked a couple outside, hopefully you can hear me, it's kind of loud. I'd asked a couple outside where the metro station was. They pointed to where I needed to go. When I got to the metro station, I tried to buy a, a pass, an entry um, ticket. And uh, the screen or the machine was all in Russian. There was no English. Oh guys, we're way underground, look at this. I forgot where I left off, like I was saying. Uh, I tried to buy a metro pass in the metro station and um, the language is all in Russian. There was no uh, option to choose a different language, English, Chinese, Swahili. So uh, I was stuck, I didn't know what to do. It just so happens that the couple that I had asked earlier for directions was also going to that metro station. They saw me, so they basically paid for my entrance and they took me to the right metro station because we had the or the right metro line because we had to take one and then get off and go to a different one so shout out to them so far uh the rest of your trip is starting off starting off pretty well pretty well just made it to the room i don't know how thin the walls are because it's like maybe 11 p.m right now so let me show you the room and then we'll talk out we'll talk outside see efficiency guys don't don't judge me please don't judge me Oh guys, guys, I want to do a, I want to talk while I was in the room, but super quiet. I don't want to wake anyone up, but I got help from another couple. So when I got out of the metro station, it was supposed to be a short walk, but again, the, the maps was uh, messing up a lot. Oh, we got a dog. The maps was uh, messing up. Uh, my location kept changing. So a couple helped me out. They walked with me all the way to my apartment. And I was gonna try to film the interaction, but again, uh, sometimes pulling out a camera can ruin the moment. I'm like, let me just, this is good right now. Let me let me not ruin it, but shout out to them. So far, the my first day, the Russian people have been very, very helpful. I mean, really going out of their way to make sure I get to my destination. That's, uh, that's one thing I want to talk about, but I some first impressions. I don't know if I should say them right now or save them for another video. Um, let's we'll just do it right now. I don't think I can make a whole video about the first impressions. So uh, start off with the people. Oh, I think we go down this way. Start off with the people being very helpful. The second thing was the man. The people here are pretty tall. <laughs> Third thing is to all the. Well, let me put it to you like this way. When you watch TV shows like 30 Day Fiance, or when you hear about guys getting scammed and tricked by Russian women online, take it easy on them. Because after, after being in the airport, after getting on the plane, after getting on the train, after getting on the metro station, I see why. I see why uh, a lot of guys get tricked by the, well, by some of the ladies out here because, uh, wow, very, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll just put you like that. Wow. So take it easy on those guys, man. They let's see, I forgot what the super okay, the supermarket was this way. There's something else I was gonna say. Oh yeah. Uh well let me save it for the walk back. Let me hit up in this supermarket. It's supposed to be 24 hours. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna film inside. 
Uh, we'll see how it goes. But give me one second, then we round. We'll talk. Uh, I'm on my way back to the room. Just got the groceries, and uh, one of the last impressions I want to say, and I'll show you the groceries when I get back to the when I get back to the room. But one thing I want to say is that. Uh, Oh, did I go this way? Yeah. One thing I want to talk about is how uh, Russia is the the largest country when it comes to size, right? Land mass, and so it covers, I believe, two continents. You guys, let me know, Europe and Asia. So it was pretty interesting, you know, walking around, seeing, um, you know, when I think of Russians, I have, there's a particular look that comes to mind. I'll just put it to you like that. You know, when you look at the magazines and stuff. You know, coming here though, I see a uh, different looks more on the um, what's the word Asiatic side. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool seeing the different phenotypes because uh, Russia, I believe, covers, you know, goes into Central Asia. So you have more of that Central Asian look. So sometimes I was, I'll be walking and well, today, my bad, I'm breathing hard. Today I was walking thinking to myself, oh, we got some uh, Korean tourists here, <laughs> but nah. They're not Korean. They're they're local. They're they're from here. But that's just something I wanted to point out. Just a few first impressions, things that uh, caught my eye. I think I'm walking the right way. I feel like I'm not. All right, let me do this before I before I forget. Don't judge me, guys. Chocolate donut. Come on. Some sour candies. Two cups of fruit. Back home in Seattle, this will be like eight dollars. Oh snap. Oh, hoping they wake anyone up. Oh man. And then I got three bottles of water and then two of these um natural something. Let me put the light right here. And then this was in the fresh juice aisle. And then whatever this is. Put it right here. I think the lighting is a little better. Yeah. And then uh so bam, all of this for I think ten like a thousand, so ten dollars and then while we're at it, let me show you the currency. Close the currency. So the exchange rate is around ninety-one rubles to one US dollar. Alright, here goes a hundred boom. All right. all right guys i'm in the room i'm gonna shower up gonna eat um and we're gonna talk more in the next video some more stuff i want to talk about i have cash right now but my plan tomorrow in the morning is to get a bank card so i already have that scheduled the guy's supposed to come over tomorrow morning and um drop off the bank card for me and then I'm gonna put all my cash on the card. That way I don't have to carry around. That way I can just tap and pay, tap and pay. I can also tap and pay with the Metro. So I can tap and pay with uh, for everything. And we'll talk about more of that. But in the meantime, we'll get ready for this Russia adventure. So I'm gonna catch you guys at the next one. Deuces.